Psalm 90 verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. If I called you on the phone today and asked, how could I pray for you? What would you say? Do you need God's healing touch today? A financial breakthrough, the restoration of your marriage, deliverance from an addiction, the salvation of your children or other loved one. Could I suggest to you that one thing we could pray about together is for the favor of God to rest upon your life. Because when you open your heart to God's wisdom and favor, everything else in your life is impacted. Not only will He re-energize your spiritual life, but there'll be a transformation of your health, your finances, and your relationships as well. This is why David could boldly say in Psalm 34, verse 10, Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. To David, this was more than a nice theory. He wrote about this in the 23rd Psalm because he had drawn near to the Lord as his good shepherd. He lacked nothing. He was so confident of God's favor in his life that he proclaimed, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David knew all about this kind of favor. He had first experienced it years earlier when the prophet Samuel was seeking God's direction on who Israel's next king should be. And Samuel knew the king was to be chosen from among the sons of Jesse. And so the sons were paraded before the prophet to see which one was the Lord's choice. And Samuel must have been a little confused when none of the seven oldest sons met with God's approval. So he said to Jesse, the Lord hasn't chosen these. Are these all the sons that you have? And apparently no one had thought to invite David. He was the youngest son. He was out tending his father's sheep. You see, while everyone else was looking at factors like age and rank, God was looking for a man after his own heart, someone who would fulfill his purposes. So they sent for David and they brought him in. And 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 12 says, The Lord said, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Friend, God was looking for a person he could show his favor to. Maybe you feel like you're just taking care of some really smelly old sheep. Maybe you feel forgotten somewhere behind all the other important people. But just like David, God is looking for people who have a heart towards him that he can pour his favor out upon. And I pray you're a candidate for his blessing and his favor today.